Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your weekend? <laughs> good. Great. Did you have a good weekend? Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Well, we have a few students still, a few participants, so we're going to give some minutes while the rest get connected. So we're going to be waiting. In the meantime, we can start saying something on the chat, write something related to English what you practice, if you learn new vocabulary, if you completed the exercises of the platform, anything. Say something related to your English learning on the chat. Let me hear your, well, let me read your, your messages actually. Mm -hmm. I practice, I completed the exercises, whatever. Okay, no messages yet. All right, I'm learning, watching documentaries in English. All right, with subtitles in English as well. Awesome. That's a good strategy. Learning with something that you like, documentaries, and mainly because you're practicing listening and you're practicing the reading the subtitles good lucy good way to go mm -hmm. what else what other ways are you learning Okay, what else? No more messages. All right, Hector, say good evening, everyone. I was a good weekend in my house. Nice, resting and relaxing. Good. Okay. Great. Working. <laughs> okay, I was listening to English music. Nice. At least something. All right. Something is something. 
All right. Good. No. O tendrán que haber tenido en ellos. Gracias. Well, yeah, I see some more people getting connected. That's nice. So maybe we can get the attendance already. <laughs> Let's see what the what is the day today? What day is today? Uh huh. Today is Monday. Monday. Monday, uh, September twenty-sixth. Twenty-six. That's right. Today is Monday, September twenty-six. Almost the end of the month. Almost, <laughs> right? Okay. Let's have the attendance. Yes, it's about time we get the attendance. I have extracted the videos. Okay, in YouTube. All right. Nice. For vocabulary. Good. Good practice. Okay, Adriana. Present. Welcome. Thank you. Carlos. Present teacher. Hello, welcome. Thanks. Christina. Not here. Daniel. Present. Ah, oh, you are here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Not here. Elsie. Herman. Present teacher. Hi, Hazel. Hector. Present teacher. Liliana. Irma. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, here we go. Isabel. Present. Welcome, good evening. Okay, Lucy. Present teacher. Hello, welcome. Marta. Mayra. Present teacher. Welcome, welcome. Samuel. Present. Hello. Mary. How are you? Doing great, thank God. Wendy, Wendy. No. Zero. <laughs> All right, and Jacqueline. Present. Hi, good evening. Hi. How are you? Hi. Fine, great. Okay, I saw, yes, I read your messages, some of your messages on the, yes, on the chat about the way you practice English over this weekend. And yes, some of you were working, some of you are really tired okay <laughs> but we almost finished this is the class number 14 imagine six more classes and we're done that's it yes <laughs> we're done okay so as i was mentioning yes today is monday september the 26th of 2022 and this is our video conference or our session number 13. Oh, not 13, I said 14, right? Hold on. There must be a mistake here, a typo. Yeah, there's a typo of the number. Okay. So, once again. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this is your course of English for work program. And this is the module six in the session 14. Some generalities of the class and today's objective. Yes, okay, talk about what you're doing at your workplace. Okay, what you usually do in describe actions that are happening at the moment that you're talking, okay? The moment that something is happening, you're describing it, so we use the present continuous. 
there. What are you doing? I'm sending a very important report for tonight's conference. I don't know. I'm uh, writing uh, an email to ask for or to request for this and this and this document. So what is happening at the moment is described with the pressing continuous, right? I'm planning, I'm calling, I'm checking, I'm writing, I'm sending. He's working, he's doing, he's planning, he's checking, right? So what is happening at the moment is described with the present continuous. So this is what we're going to do basically on the class. And of course, right on the chat, I am receiving classes. Okay, I am checking email, I am sending messages, or I am only receiving classes, I'm listening carefully, I'm taking notes, I'm writing examples, whatever is happening right now. Whatever that you are doing, write on the chat a sentence using the present continuous. All right. I'm going to give you one minute to do that. Okay, some of you say, okay, I'm taking the class and I'm drinking coffee, right? Or I'm taking the class and I'm uh, checking and completing the exercises, right? Or I'm taking the class and I'm listening and practicing with my partners. Whatever that is happening right now in class, you write a sentence on the chat, please. All right. Let's see. I just received an, uh, yeah, a message from... Oh, yeah, very good. Adriana says, I'm doing English homework. Great. Daniel says he's going to be just listening because he's working. So he's listening to the class and he's working, you see? Ah, Daniel, you could have written the example in English, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Adriana has written a message already. That's a correct example. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Somebody else? Okay, more more examples. I'm drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh huh. Just two sentences with the present continuous. What's happening? Mm hmm. Yes, the present continuous is the same for the present progressive, okay? <laughs> I hadn't noticed that in this and this lesson it is used as the present progressive or the present continuous. It's the same thing, all right? So don't worry too much about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am. The verb has to go in ing. I am receiving classes and I am checking the assignments or I'm checking the homework or I'm doing the exercises. I'm completing the exercises. I'm practicing. Uh huh. Okay. I'm eating gum. I'm chewing gum. Could be. Mm -hmm. I'm calling my partner for confirming your shipping. All right. That's great. So that is the present progressive. Okay, describing the action that is happening at the moment when you are speaking. Yes, of course you cannot be describing. Probably, yeah. In this case, uh huh. Activities from work only if you are doing like extra work right now, because most of you are not at work anymore. You are at home, right? Okay, but in the case of Carla, he is calling a partner to confirm a shipping. Okay, I'm going to be a listener for what reason? <laughs> okay, great, Daniel. <laughs> nice. He's doing his best to practice English, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm receiving English classes. That's right. That's awesome. That's correct. Okay.
Uh huh. I'm listening to the class at night. Listening in ing. Remember, it's like endo ando in in Spanish. Yes. Listening. All right. I'm listening to the class. Mm -hmm. I'm taking notes. I'm writing examples. I'm copying the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling <laughs> to pay attention. I'm making a big effort, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, writing an email to her boss. All right, could be. Okay. He is or she is writing an email to her boss. Okay. All right. I'm learning ing. I'm learning new words. Uh huh. I'm listening. Listening to. Remember, listening to. Listen to your heart. <laughs> so listening to the I ah, no teacher muchas corrections. <laughs> it's because the word listening is listening to listen to somebody. Listen to him, listen to her, listen to the radio, listen to the song, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sending a chat to our teacher. Uh huh, that's right. I'm writing sentences, I'm paying attention, I'm looking for the words. Mm -hmm. I'm checking the vocabulary. I'm reading the book. I'm writing. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep moving. Okay. <laughs> Some people just write a sentence. That's it. No, the more you write, the more you remember. So keep writing. All right. Great. Well, for the ones that just got tired of writing, don't get tired. It's something you have to continue, continue, continue doing. All right. Okay. All right. Perfect. No more sentences. You get tired. Mm -hmm. I'm typing. I'm trying to write in English. That's right. Trying. <laughs> That's good. At least you're trying. All right. Well, if you already got tired. Okay, so at, uh, as I said before, at the end of the session, participants will be able to talk about activities I'm doing at my workplace first with Verbs such as plan, call, check, write, and send. I think these are very common verbs already, right? Because you only put the ing and the action is happening right now, okay? Okay, so we're going to work in pairs and discuss the question, exchange your answers with the rest of the class. Okay, para hacer un poquito de repaso, like last class. So we're going to talk. We're going to talk about best questions. What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Have you ever been promoted at work? And what is a job promotion? And what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Okay, I'm just gonna uh, make sure that you understand what the questions are saying. What are some qualities a good employee need to have? Like, ¿Cuáles son las cualidades que necesita un buen empleado? Okay, have you ever been promoted? Si alguna vez han recibido o han sido ascendidos. Así se dice en español, right? Been promoted at work and received an ascenso, right? What is a job promotion? <laughs> it is a job promotion, right? But try to explain in English. Don't try to say in Spanish. Try to explain in English, okay? What is the most essential quality to get a promotion? ¿Y cuál es una, cuál es la cualidad más esencial para adquirir o para que tengan un nada? I you are going to discuss with your partner. Don't say anything. <laughs> I've never been promoted, all right? So just to say, all right. So in education, I think it's a lot different, hopefully. So that's, those are the questions that you're going to discuss with your partner just to review last class, all right? So basically, it's having a conversation about 
being a good employee, having good qualities, and being promoted. All right. Here we go. The okay. what are 40, 40 questions for uh, okay. sample of what I say quality at good employee need to have. Mm -hmm. okay. la, como las cualidades que para tener un buen empleo. Para tener un buen empleo. Okay. ¿Qué necesita? ¿Qué mm. necesita? Algo así. Mm. <ríe> Tener cuello. <ríe> no. Primero pensemos lo normal. Big <ríe> um, um, <ríe> Lo normal que debería de ser. En teoría. Lo Bye. normal es este... Primero sería buen currículo o cómo decirles hay una ahí en lo que estuvimos haciendo aquel sí ajá una buena experiencia laboral what, ex what experience experience what experience contestándolas porque no nos va a preguntar. Number one. Piensen en otra. Um, be good at work. work. Be a good work. Y ese es lo bueno conecte. Es tener un buen trabajador, o sea que, que sea bueno en lo que hace. Eh, pero, pero por eso ejemplo, no es lo mismo en la, en, la, en la experiencia. No. No puede tener experiencia, pero sí sabe algo así. Es que si sí sabes porque tienes la experiencia. O sea, no, por ejemplo, en, solo puedo tener el conocimiento, pero no tengo la experiencia. Vaya. Hi. Hi, teacher. Solo yo estoy acá. Alone. All right. Uh -huh. okay. er, como otra de las cosas que tendría que hacer es good oh. mm. a good employee uh -huh. mm. good. ¿Cómo sería que tiene lo que hablaba la vez pasada? No me acuerdo quién de la inteligencia emocional. Smart. Ah, smart. Be smart. Smart. And... Smart. Eh, yo aquí tengo... Yo... 
What are some well, qualities a good employee needs to have? For example, in my job, a uh, uh, quality, maybe punctuality, uh, uh, punctuality, a be, uh, to have ability, uh, to have uh, ingi, in, ingenio, I don't know, ingenio. Creativity. Ingenuity. Ingenuity. I was saying. Uh, and uh, uh, I, uh, I can uh, to be person uh, clever. Clever is, is poder resolver problemas. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, se escribe clever, pero es clever. Es del vocabulario nuevo que medio aprendí este día. Este fin. Clever. Clever, ok. Es other eh, quality in my job. In your case, Irma. Excuse me. Eh, in your case, the first my, um... question. In my work, in my case, is um, ser, eh, per, eh, Ay, ¿Cómo sería, bueno, ser un buen empleado? Eh, ¿Cómo se diría no tener ninguna correctiva? por lo menos en un año como mínimo. ¿No tener qué? Una correctiva. Ah. Para una, una acción una correctiva. Una no sé. Bueno. Una amonestación, ajá. Una no tener ninguna una. falta. Eh, ajá. I don't, I don't have fault. One year, maybe. Eh, warning, no sé, advertencias. Watch look, ¿no? Watch look, creo que es la otra palabra. Como cuidado. ¿Qué? No, pero no sería así. ¿Qué dices a Careful. Google? <risa> ah, ahorita. Careful. Admonition. Admonition. No, I not have admonition. Ajá. Uh -huh. I, I not have one admonition. For, okay. for one year. Admonition. Okay. Other? Um, seria um, punctuality. Um, eh, ser comprometido con el trabajo, ¿cómo podría ser? Engage. Well, en inglés, ajá. Uh -huh. To uh to be engaged to engage to be, to be engaged age with with your <laughs> hi hi teacher. So Lucy didn't participate. Hello, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry, teacher. Um, I didn't participate right now because my daughter is a little sick. Oh, you are not able I was to. attending her. Sorry. Are you going to do the activity with Isabel or should I change to another classroom? No, I, I can. I can right. right now. Thank you. All right, cool. Okay. Um, Isabel. Um, what are some qualities a good employee needs to have? They change, they change the, in the new job. Change position more, mm -hmm. with more, with more, um, como que te, salario que era. 
Money. Mm -hmm. Say the dinner, mommy. I don't know. Bueno, dejémoslo así como uh -huh. position with better salary. Sí. Bueno, vamos a ver. We finished, teacher. All right, perfect. Well, apparently the others haven't finished. <laughs> now they finish. Okay, the most efficient ones. <laughs> We're gonna get started. Okay, vamos a hacer un summary. Un summary es un resumen de todo lo que ustedes discutieron que podemos concluir. Hmm. Veamos, vamos a empezar con Aha, uh -huh, let's see. Okay. Cristina and Samuel. Who is going to participate from that group? Cristina. Oh, right. She rhymed. Democracy. Well, at qualities, a good employee, employees is respons responsible responsabilidad, 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 proactivo, good, good attitude, uh, emotional intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, puntuality, puntuality, all right, mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, the second one was, yes. uh, have you ever been promoted at work? Yeah, uh, both we talk about this and, and both we have promoted in some time of our life in in our works for a better position. for a better position. Nice. Uh, what is a job promotion? Well, more responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe maybe more pay, more money. A better salary. Uh, a better salary, more benefit, okay. and a better status. Okay. And the last one, uh, what is the most essential quality for get a promotion? Well, we talk about this and then we define the better, one of the better points are the proactive people because I can be responsible, but I don't give the the extra mile. <laughs> and don't put the t-shirt from the the, the t-shirt of the, on the on the company. <laughs> I don't feel alone. I thought uh, only that my company no, was this. Never. The extra mile. Walk the extra mile. Run the extra mile. <laughs> yeah, but the extra mile we need more benefits. No, uh, no in, 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 in an ideal world. In an uh, ideal world. In an ideal world, yes, true. <laughs> Yeah, we run like not only one extra mile, like miles. A few, a few. <laughs> but we don't get compensated, not even incentive sometimes. <sighs> My relief. Well, thank you so very much for sharing.
your valuable information and experience. Well, I'm glad you both have received a promotion, at least. So you have had that experience. So I think I'm going to retire and I'll never receive a promotion. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the second group will be Jacqueline and Mayra. Okay. All right. Okay, the um, one question is the word experience. I uh, have to the uh, basically, uh, physical, I uh, no sé cómo se dice, physical, physical. health. Oh, physical have a good health. physical health, right. Mm -hmm. Have a good physical health and uh, friendly. Um, I have been feared at work because I only might be the hair one year. Second, how do okay. how do do ever been promotion at work? In my in yes, in was in was an employee in my first job. In your first job, you were promoted. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. What what is a job promotion? A chain position con better 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 salary. Usually with a better salary. Uh -huh. What's the motion essential quality to get a promotion? Um experience and good contact. Good contact. All right. Okay. Good. Well done. All right. The next group is Adriana, Hazel, and Hector. Okay. Uh, my answer the, the first and the end, Adriana, you, can you answer the middle? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, what are some quality a good employer needs to have? Um, being proactive, honest, good learner, um, be smart and intelligent, have a good relationship, Good uh, teamwork capacity. Have you ever promoted at work? Um, Hector was promoted at his work. Um, he was assigned new projects. In my case, I was promoted three times in six years. I begin to um, supervise our data, and then we promote it to consultant. And now I have a manager. I have a manager. And what is the most essential? I we think is proactive and intelligence it's very similar to the first answer done <laughs> okay all right nice thank you all right from Isabel in Lucy's group, is anybody going to participate? Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. Well, and uh, what are some qualities a good employee needs to have? We think that one of big qualities we need to have is a responsibility, 
proactive. And have you ever been a promoter at work? In my case, I promoted two times in the last uh, five years. And what is a job? What is a job promotion? Is like uh, uh, you can scale to a highest position with a better salary. And sometimes you do. We have and uh, we can have a uh, good benefits. And what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Well, we was um, talking. It's like uh, you need to be loyalty to the company and almost is like a 24 seven days um, <laughs> active and um, this, what is the word como disponible? <laughs> work availability all the time. Work so availability work all the time. 24 seven, yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. <laughs> yes. Teacher, in yes. which case do you use available? Available, because it's disponible. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, and... if you say, uh, don't call me after six because I'm not available. I mean, I'll be busy, I'll be doing exercise. But it, you can use it in different contexts, not only at work. Mm -hmm. For example, when you, let's say, probably it's not a very good example, but in the past we used to have a uh, telephones like pay phones with coins right yeah. and all the the phones were busy so mm -hmm. the, they were not available okay mm -hmm. or when you go to the atm and all the atms mm -hmm. are busy you say oh no there's not any atm available mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. or when somebody is attending let's say at a bank and all the and all the tellers at the bank are busy attending someone so there's no one available all right, great. Good job, Lucy. And I'm just wondering if there's somebody else who hasn't participated probably in Carlos Fermán and Irma's group. Just wondering. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can say uh, in the first per uh, question. Uh, so you see, what are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Uh, to be responsible, responsible, uh, to have a pun uh, punctuality. Punctuality. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, uh, in my job, <laughs> uh, to be uh, ingenious, 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 uh -huh. ingenious uh, to creative. be cle clever, clever and creative, clever, uh -huh. clever, uh, um, uh, what else, <laughs> Irma Perman? <laughs> <laughs> Help okay. me. <laughs> Help, I need some back. <laughs> Something that need for the good employees are uh, in my case in my, in my case, have a knowledge of the subject mm -hmm. uh, um, to be on time in the plant on the customer, mm -hmm. to be responsibly assigned. Uh, and in my case, uh, I never I have been promoted uh, at work at my work. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, however, uh, I only uh, I received employees of year for solvent case mm -hmm. the last year. Uh, only <laughs> that's all. <laughs> That's all great. Good job. In my case, yes, they have me. a different experience. Go ahead, go ahead. Me. <laughs> uh, in, in my case, um, by dual responsible, pass the exam, 
have to coordinate, have experience by intelligence, proactive, have the, the knowledge of, of the position. Mm -hmm. yes. In my case, three, three, how say? three times. Thanks. Three times. Uh, or, um, you have been promoted. <laughs> promoted. Promoted. Time promoted. Wow. Only. That's nice. I don't know if somebody else wants I to think, say something. I think. Else. <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> All right. Nice. So everybody. Uh, my case, uh, is, I have been promoted, promoted uh, responsibility. For responsibility. But uh, <laughs> it is uh, more payment. <laughs> really? You have received more responsibility, but you haven't received a raise in salary? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eso no me hace sentido. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's not fair. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah, probably in some companies that's the case that you get more job, more work, but there's not a compensation in salary. So it's so sad. <laughs> well, anyways, well, thank you for sharing. That was pretty useful information. I love it. I love to know about your work experience and it's really, really cool because we all have different, different jobs. In my case, as I was saying, I have never, ever received that experience in my whole life. And it's probably because of the, the working environment in a school is different. Even though I never worked for a, for a public school, I started teaching at a private school uh, Colegio Montesoriano. So I was there for five years. And of course, I was just starting my career. So I was a teacher of English for little kids, for five and six years old kids. Yes, they were in a kindergarten. <laughs> so obviously, I, I was very happy with the experience because I was still at the university and I was getting the experience. So Later, I was teaching at high level institutions, universities, and just the same. <laughs> I had already graduated, I had experience, I had some more knowledge, and I had just done the same thing. Then I went to the uh, foundation, a non governmental organization that provides. Uh, a scholarship for students with the desire of learning and, uh, and I've been there. There might be some possibilities, but very remote possibilities to get a promotion to become the, the principal or the vice principal, but it hasn't happened in our case. So we just have had the principal and then she quit. And then somebody else was hired. Nobody was promoted. So an external was, yes. I'm sorry, I have to say this. <laughs> so yeah, but it's not the same case. In some, other, in some other schools from the program, yeah, some of the previous teachers have been promoted. Unfortunately, in our case, it was not that case. So we have been, well, there are two of us the IT uh, teacher and I have been longer than the principal himself. And then that was the worst case. Then somebody else, an external, was hired to be the vice principal. Nobody else was promoted. So it's been hard. It's been tough. And I think we don't have like high expectations anymore. But it's okay. I love teaching. <laughs> so I'm sure. fine. Yes. But uh, seems uh, you enjoy uh, your job. 
That's yeah. why. That's why probably they say, no, we don't want to affect her. We don't want to make her life miserable. <laughs> so that's why they allow me to continue teaching. That's probably one of the possibilities, one of the remote possibilities. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, but you can apply to like a supervisor now. There are no supervisors. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not at least not the place where I am. I but mean, in in Superate, mm -hmm. we have three, like one director and two so, supervisors. Really? Right? Yes. Not the place where I am. It's just the principal <laughs> and the vice principal. Probably the policies of the company are different. Uh, uh huh. But but I think. Can move. But uh, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> actually Irving was moved. <laughs> Have you met him? Uh, no. Not yet. No. He was hired this year, but he used to be in our school. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. What you're mentioning is a really good idea because mm, some people should be supervised where I am, actually. Some uh -huh. people should. Uh. And they are not. But anyways, don't tell they anybody. Look in, <laughs> they look in a computer. I think it's a computer teacher. Yes, because oh. Nestor left. Yes. Mm -hmm. We will be looking for one as well because our, well, they, we used to have two and, and now one left already. She just left. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is it's, it's really hard to get an IT teacher for that program, actually, if you ask me. So are you um, interested? No, thanks. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I don't have patience. <laughs> I'm not patient. <laughs> okay. Just wondering. It's okay. <laughs> you may be fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I bet it's really, really hard because uh, the demands of the program are really high and the IT teachers have also the responsibility to train and teach the students to program. So you got to be a programmer, a coder. If, if, when, if uh, with adults is difficult, <laughs> I don't mean that I, You don't imagine no. with teenagers. No, no. Nothing. Yeah, so, sometimes, yeah, the responsibilities are really big because you have to deal not only with the students, but with the principals and with the directors as well. And they make you like the very high bar. They say, no, you have to jump this bar. I mean, if you're not able to. So that's what makes it harder, I think, because not all this, not all the, the people, not all the students have the same skills and the same abilities to learn as fast as they want. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, but thanks for sharing. Well, we're going to talk about, <laughs> yes, create examples using the following verse and talk about different participants as you finish. Of course, these are some of the most common verbs that you're probably going to find in the conversation. Plan, I'm planning. What can you be planning at your work? I'm planning the activities for the week. I'm planning an event. I'm planning a conference. I'm planning a project, right? So you can say many sentences with plan, right? I'm planning the... I don't know, metrics, or I'm planning for the rest of the day, I'm planning to cover or to get high standards of qualifications. So you can say anything with plan. Call, I'm calling for help. I'm calling technical support. I'm calling my manager. I'm calling the supervisor, whatever you can say with call. Check. I'm checking the results. I'm checking this report. I'm checking my email, right? As well as sending. I'm sending this report. I'm sending this email. I'm sending the results. I'm sending the, the 
worksheets, I'm sending whatever, right? So those are some of the possible vocabulary you might find in the following conversation, all right? Here we are. It says, take turns, okay, practicing the modal conversation. Talk about activities that I'm doing at my workplace. Good morning, this is Mr. Pedro Rigi. Good morning, Mr. Rigi. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. Aquí están los warnings. Lo que alguien está preguntando, que son como las sanciones, ¿verdad? Okay, Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required as a managerial position? Mm, yeah, why not, right? So, Max is calling from Human Resources. Okay. Oh, sorry, Pedro is calling, right? And Max receives the call from Human Resources and he says, Okay, hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? Okay, we are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him. Okay, as a manager. And Max says, All right, Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him is, yeah, the, the feedback that we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. So, the information about Mr. Sanchez is good, right? He doesn't have any warning, and the feedback is very positive. Yes, that he's very responsible. All right, check the conversation and see if you find difficult words to pronounce. Uh -huh. Difficult words? Alguna palabra difícil? Uh -huh. Managerial. Managerial. Managerial position. Like management, managerial position. Okay. Any other? What else? No more. Okay. Well, we're going to practice. Take your time to practice. Probably you can change the names after you practice, but try to take your time to practice the conversation as it is first, okay? And then probably you can change the name for your names. Maybe you want to get some information about yourself <laughs> and you want to imagine that you're receiving a, a promotion. That would be great, right? Let's see. Let me make the groups for the practice. Yeah, I think, all right, let's go. Conversation. Uh, ahorita. La pueden ver.
Sí, ahorita sí. ¿Y usted, Lucy? Sí, ahorita ya, ya se está presentando. Ya. Si gusta, comiencen ustedes dos. Digo yo, primero la dama. Ok. Ok. Good morning, this is Miss Lucy Reject. Good morning, Miss Reject. This no, is sorry, Miss... Lucy Juárez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning, Mrs. Uh, Juárez. This is Beatrice from, uh, ¿cómo se lee allí? From HR. 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 HR, how can I help you? Uh, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Uh, Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we had about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required, required at the manager's position? Dice, considera que tiene lo que se requiere como gerente, pero está preguntando a él. Managerial position. Ajá, o sea, ahí están hablando de... I see. Do you consider he has the, creo que de Mario, Mauricio Sánchez. Mauricio Sánchez, bro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver con esta otra leída, le vamos viendo más. Empiezo yo ahora. Ahora es Pedro. Uh -huh. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Regit. Regit. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Regit. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings in the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you, do you consider he has what is required for managerial position? Do you consider he has what is what it is required at the managerial position. Quiero entender, dice, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro. Mm -hmm. Se presenta uh -huh. él. De ahí también dice, good morning, Mr. Reed. Uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. Se presenta a Max. Uh -huh. De ahí dice, hola, Max. De ahí dice, hola, Max. Debería. Se le gustaría tener más información más acerca información. de Mauricio Sánchez. Uh -huh. Le dice Pedro a Max. ¿Qué tipo de información necesitas? Le dice Max. Ajá. Estamos, Estamos chequeando, chequeando algunas referencias. Estamos planeando promoverlo. A gerente. Ajá. A gerente. Ajá. Mr. Max no tiene ningún... Yo. Sánchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking one some reference and we are planning to promote him as a manager. 
Mr. Sanchez, do not do not have any warning and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a managerial position? Okay. Okay. Again. We can change the names. Okay. What? How? How can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Correcto. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind? of information do you need? We are checking off someone, some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning and the, the feedback we had about him from his supervisor is, is that he's responsible. I see. Do you consider he has uh, what is the required at the manager position? He he deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Okay, you say Pedro Jover. Mm -hmm. Good morning. This is my Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Ah, okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him, promote, promote him, him as, as a manager. To promote him. To promote him. As a manager. Si no lleva coma o no lleva punto, nos manager. vamos de corrido. Nos vamos de corrido. Okay. To promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez don't have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is very responsible. I see. Do you consider he has a what is re, re, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Require? Require. Require at a man a managerial manager position yeah he deserved it required required to pronounce okay bueno voy a practicar esta otra porque se me está diciendo difícil good morning this is mr pedro rejet hr hr how can i help you Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. Uh, what kind of information do, do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does uh, not have any warning. At the feedback we have about him from his super base supervisor is that he is responsible, 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 responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Bye. Pareciera de que no se traba la lengua cuando, cuando se, lo, se escucha, pero al leerlo sí se traba. Vaya, cambiémoslo ahora con, 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 con poniendo a, a, a Lucy. Sí. Vaya. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sánchez. 
Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not do not have any warnings and they feel back with have about he from his supervisor supervisor is at his responsibility. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a managerial position? Yo, Pedro. <laughs> okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is the required to manage your manage your position? No puedes preguntar. Position? Position, yes. Okay. Eh, si gustan, discutamos las tres questions que están por ahí. Hay tres preguntas. Mm -hmm. que no las he visto. Ah, uh, es que yo estoy el manual estoy viendo. Ah, no, yo no le he visto. Este, este, chango me lo había abierto. Ah, aquí está. Son tres, verdad? Sí, sí, tres son. En la treinta y cinco estamos. Good morning. Sí. 45. No, 35. 35. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Uh, um, it's responsible, 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 yes, I have responsible. Um, hey, it's responsible. Mr. Mr. Sanchez is responsible. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he does not have any warning. He, he has or he has? He have any, uh -huh. any warning. No, empiezo yo otra vez si quieren. Con Adriano. Ok. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Regit. Good morning, Mr. Regit. This is Adriana from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Ok. What kind of information do you need? We are checking um, some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager? Mr. Sanchez doesn't have any warning. At the feedback we have about him from his supervisor, it that he is responsible. I see. 
do you consider he has what it is requ required at a managerial position? Okay, I can start. Good morning, this is Adriana Turcios. Good morning, Mr. Adriano. This is from HR. How can I help you? Um, pero es cuando una persona se, digamos que ya gana bastante y en lugar de quitarla, la promueven a otro puesto que hay vacante. Mm. Y a veces sí es de más responsabilidad, pero ya tienen como un buen salario, digo yo. Ya están, ya están en el techo, ya están en el techo del, del, de la banda salarial. Probablemente hasta el puesto que van. Va. Probablemente tienes es, toda la razón. Eso vi este año con una persona así. Pero bueno. Yo creo que hoy sí aprendí bastante contigo. Mira esta parte. Gracias. Así, Gracias. ¿no? cuando tocarse con alguien que sepa, sepa más que uno. No. Así. Okay, we gotta wait for everybody to come back so that we can have the second attendance and then we're gonna say the conversation, all right? Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. All right. Second time to take the attendance. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Christina. Present. Daniel is as a listener. Elsie. No, right? Where am I? Present teacher. Hazel. Present teacher. Hector. Present Irma. teacher. Irma, Irma. Hi, Isabel, Lucy. Present teacher. Hi. Then we have Mayra. Present teacher. Samuel. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here. Jacqueline. Present. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's say the conversation. Well, the first group was made of three. Germán, Irma, and Lucy. So who, who will say the conversation? <laughs> Democracy again. Um, Irma. Hi, Con Lucy. <laughs> uh, do yes, you share huh? the, uh, the, the, the presentation, please? Yes, sure. Yeah. Oh, Thank of you. Of course. There you go. All on read? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Irma, okay. Pedro or Max? Uh, Pedro. Okay. <laughs> uh, good morning, this is Mr. Pedro Rich. Richard. Richard. Good morning, Mr. Richard. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some different. We are planning to promote, promote, promote uh, him as a manager. 
Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his super supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a ma manage a managerial position? Managerial position. <laughs> Yay. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow. All right, nice. From the second group, Hector, Isabel, and Wendy. Who's going to do it? Good morning, is Miss Pedro Jeep? Hey, Mr. Richie. This is Mark from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to I have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on reference. We are playing it. <laughs> to promise he is a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we had about him for his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see, do you consider he as what is irrequit at manage Manai managerial manager position. Okay, do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? All right, great. So the next one would be <laughs> okay. We got Carlos and Hazel, no more choice. Okay. Yeah. Hazel, hello. Hello. Okay. Go ahead. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Hey, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. In the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Good job. All right. Then we got Adriana, Christina, and Jacqueline. Who will do it? I start. All right. Good morning. This is Ad Mrs. Adriana Turcios. Good morning, Mr. Adriana. This is uh, from HR. Can I help you? Hi, Jacqueline. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, working out information do you need? We are checking some reference and we are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have worried and that for that um, we have about this from this supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is? to require at a managerial position? Yes, done. All right. 
and last but not least, <laughs> we get Mayra and Samuel I bet. <laughs> because Daniel is just as a listener. All right. Okay. okay. Pedro Max Mayra. Eh, Pedro. Okay, <laughs> start. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Frigget. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Um, Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about his from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has was it is required, required at his manual position? I think he deserves it. <laughs> He'll do good. All right. No problem. All right. Questions, doubts. Did you answer the questions in the manual? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> All right, no problem. It's okay. Yes. Yes, there are just three questions related to this conversation. So give it a try. I'm going to give you two minutes. Try to answer on your own, and then we can compare the answers that you got. Okay. Done? Finished? Ready? In process? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In progress? Still completing? Mr. Sanchez uh, does not have any warnings and uh, he is responsible. So that is, that you think is the, the answer for the question number one? Yes? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Yes. What do you think are some of the of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Yeah, definitely. He behaves well. He doesn't have any warning. So he's responsible. He follows the rules. So he doesn't get in trouble, right? Okay. And the number two, somebody? Volunteers? A new manager. Mm -hmm. What is the new role that Mr. Sancho will have at the company? Yeah, he most likely will be a new manager. Nice, because that's the position they want to promote him to. And what do you think is Mr. Sancho's current role right now? I do not, <laughs> my partner and me, uh, this, this diferimos. <laughs> oh, differ. Difference. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, and, and you ready? In mm -hmm. la lectura, este, dice que el supervisor dice, supervisor the supervisor yeah, gives like, the feedback. Uh -huh. It uh, is what is, is with uh, technical or Recognition. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. is he, it, a worker. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a worker, probably. Just an employee. Is, is, uh, is there a sense of raro? Esto estamos pensando que quizás era chero de chupa. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ay, no <laughs> pueden creer en la humanidad. <laughs> no, no sé. Es el, eh, <laughs> una observación. Teacher, o sea, de pasar a cambiar llantas, a hacer el gerente del, del taller, no sé. Mm. I don't know. Well, probably he's a good I employee, think... he's a good worker, he's been doing really well. He's a good employee. Uh -huh. <laughs> or he has demonstrated his abilities. He's been taking <laughs> the role of a leader. He's been, yes. <laughs> I mean, probably not supervising, but he's being in charge of some projects, let's say. 
Okay. Oh well, that's good. Aha, uh -huh. aquí está la explanation de el present progress for ongoing actions. ¿Esto le suena? Del 1 al 5, ¿cuánto le suena? 5 si es como bien familiar, bien común para ustedes. Escriban en el chat. Y si es como, ah, nunca lo he escuchado, 0 or 1. Creo que no. Hopefully. Let's cross the fingers. The present progressive es el mismo present continuous. Ajá, vamos a ver cuántos numbers aquí. Very familiar. 5. 5, 5, 5, 5, high 5, 5, alright, so this is not an issue, this is not a problem, apenas solo tengo como cuatro personas que han respondido, come on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 people have answered, ajá, uh -huh. De 16 que estamos conectados. Y el resto de la población que decida los restos y después se quejan. Ah, ¿Qué pasó? Y después dicen que soy dictator. <risa> Aquí todos estamos en democracia. Y ustedes se abstengan de votar. Bye. It's okay. It's a joke. It's a joke. Bye. Qué bueno. El present progressive, como ya les decía, es el mismo present continuous. Algunos autores lo llaman como present progressive y otros como present continuous. Sirve para describir acciones en curso, o sea, en proceso, que están ocurriendo en el momento. Por ahí dice ongoing actions. Use the present progressive to talk about ongoing situations. And the structure is the subject, I, you, he, my boss, he, my secretary, my new friend, whatever. Quien sea que haga la acción es el sujeto de la oración, ¿ok? Plus the verb be, obviamente conjugado. No va a decir my boss be working in Canada. ¿verdad? My boss is working in Canada, right? And the verb, el verb, o sea, la acción que va a estar en ING, explicaba al inicio que es como las terminaciones ando, endo en Spanish, más el complemento, ¿ok? Examples, we are updating the information this weekend. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. In negative statements, obviamente, solo se le agrega not al verb to be. Eso es todo. Like, I'm not working at an international company right now. Yes? That's all. Esa es toda la explicación que dan acá, obviously. Les piden escribir oraciones. Write sentences using the present progressive form of the verbs in parentheses. Ok, para no hacerlo, hacer doble trabajo, ven el siguiente, que dice, write a seven line paragraph about the activities you are doing these days. Si ustedes quieren usar esos verbos, está bien. Up to you. Plan, call, check, write, and speak. Pero pueden ser otros verbos también. Lo que necesito es que escriban un mini paragraph de lo que está sucediendo, o sea, de las acciones que ustedes están haciendo en su trabajo en estos días, en esta semana, como por decir, I am working on a very special project. I'm preparing this report for this and this, this company. I'm sending a lot of emails to contact the employees from this and that company. No sé, ¿qué es lo que está sucediendo en su semana? Por decir algo. Si yo fuera a describir my week y las acciones que están ocurriendo, diría, ok, on this week, at my work, I am, I'm pretty busy, yes. I'm planning uh, to start a new module. We are evaluating for the last module. We are having some presentation and we are receiving, um, Talks and visits from experts in programming. So I am um, organizing video conferences with a special guests from other companies. So my students are listening to these guests so that they can learn how to program, how to create a web page. Pero ese es mi caso. Okay? So, seguramente en su vida está ocurriendo otras cosas. Right? But that's what I'm saying. Van a escribir un pequeño paragraph para describir 
qué es lo que está sucediendo, qué es lo que está pasando estos días o esta semana, en qué están trabajando, en qué se están ocupando. ¿Ya? Yes. Bye. Y cuando lo tengan, se lo cuentan a su par, qué es lo que están haciendo. Veamos, voy a dejar de compartir, creo que tienen el manual, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a crear otros grupos a los que les van a contar lo que está sucediendo en su trabajo estos días. Yes. Cinco actividades. Cinco. No. Eran... Ay, pero me perdí la. Ah. Vamos a ver, aquí creo que la tengo. ¿Dónde está? Espérame que lo perdí. Aquí era. Ah, siete. Siete, siete. ajá. Ok. Entonces. Oh. I am working on a project. Does start on October 1. Esas, esas palabritas y vamos si lo podemos ocupar. Si quieres redactar vos el, el, eh, el tuyo, voy a redactar yo el mío. ¿Cómo solo son? ¿Cuántos párrafos son? <risa> 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 Está bien. <risa> Está bien. En <risa> publisher. Ya me hizo reír. <risa> 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 no. Ahora la semana pasada y ahí estoy con el teléfono. Cuesta más. Vale, entonces sería I I hardly I hardly seven lines, teacher. It's too much. <laughs> right five. It's okay. Okay.
Creo que ya tengo las mías, a ver qué tal. Okay. Uh -huh. Dejémoslo en compañero de trabajo. I am training a new co-worker. Co co ok. Uh, I am planning, uh, sería uh, help, helping, no help. ¿Cómo sería? Porque el, el verbo sería ayudar, ¿verdad? I, I plan to work uh, helping my team for presentation. ¿Cómo sería? Que, que quiero ayudar o estoy ayudando a mi equipo a hacer una presentación, pero no sé qué sería presentation. Porque no somos un grupo. Es correcto, es correcto. I'm helping my team to prepare a presentation. Presentation. Right. Ah, pues, eso. Mm -hmm. helping. I'm helping. helping. Yes, you can say I'm helping my team to prepare a presentation. Okay. Ah, eso. <laughs> <laughs> no, just repeat it. <laughs> I'm helping my team. My team? I help my team. To prepare a presentation. To prepare a presentation. Right. Okay, okay. Thank you. I am. Or, organi, organi, organizing, organizing, organizing the celebration for worker who have children. Birthday this, uh -huh, this ah, month. This month. Nice. <laughs> for Children's Day. Halloween también celebren. Ah. Ah, no terminamos. <laughs> Una gran fila ahí. Nos quedamos pobres. Ay, no. Así era antes en mi trabajo. Todos querían que celebráramos y solo celebraciones pasamos. Nunca vamos a dar clases. Was difficult. Así de aquí para allá solo son celebraciones. Sí. Ya, ahorita hay que ahorrar para los regalos navideños y todo. Para los regalos navideños. Correcto. Um, ¿Y cuánto llevamos? Uh, quiero ver. Dos, Cinco cada uno llevamos ahorita. Ah, bye. Bye. Um, I am I am on meetings. Meeting in the morning. Uh -huh. uh, I am taking and um, I am prepared in the report. I am introducing the um, Invoices and the factor. I am um, recollected the information in the employer. I am writing. In the car, my car.
I am um, starting in the in the programs. Yes. Okay. I'm leading a digital transformation project. We are mm -hmm. installing some screen around the areas to project the planet order and their progress. At the same time, I'm starting up the budget model in the system, and I always giving technical support to users. Okay. And you, Wendy? Um, um ay, ay, con... es que casi se, a mí se me hace no no todavía el, el ING todavía no mucho lo manejo siento que sí ahí me estoy dando un poco de lata con eso nos puede decir para poderle ayudar qué quiere decir Vamos a ayudar. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, eh, vaya lo que la teacher dijo que teníamos que hacer algo que estuviera sucediendo, que estuviéramos haciendo en el trabajo, ¿cierto? Ajá. Vaya, entonces, en mi caso, lo que yo paso haciendo es atender al cliente y, y venderle el producto. Ok, sería yo, pero eh, eh, poniéndolo. You are attending in the attending service. customer. Customer. And offering a new product. Maya, y de ahí podría ser. Es que solo eso paso haciendo casi a, y de ahí cobrando. <ríe> Quiero ver. Ok. You are paying, playing, paying y la... ¿A quién le cobra? A los clientes. <ríe> sí. Sería a quién. Playing. Acuérdese de que a los verbos, a la mayoría que se usa diariamente, es como que estuviera... All right, can we start? Number one, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me okay. what's going on in your work these days. Okay. Uh, what is happening in my job in this day? Uh, has decreased. <laughs> There is a crisis. The crisis. The crisis. The crisis. Really? The rainy. You for the rainy. Ah. <laughs> I have been many days in the technician plantel. Ah. Yeah, about recycler machine of oil. It's a machine for the transformers partner. I am checking my emails, taking advantage i am in the te technician plantel also i am checking my reports in the computer 
and taking advantage to stay in the plantel for the rainy. I am sharing more with the partner. For example, <laughs> we have ordinary donuts. <laughs> <I'm Hugo. laughs> okay, that's all. Peter. All right. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Adriana. Hi. In my days, I'm leading a digital transformation project. We are installing some screen around the area to project the planet orders and their progress. At the same time, I starting up the budget model in the system, and I always giving technical support to users. Wow, that's nice. Thumb up, Christina. Okay, um, I am working on the project that starts on the 1st of October. I am reviewing some procedures. I am uh, looking for a new position for NTA. I, I I am training a new co-worker. Um, I am cleaning my deck. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, finished a report. I am waiting for my vacation. <laughs> Crossing the fingers. <laughs> okay, nice. When are you supposed to have vacation? In October. November. November. Nice. Y la gozo como en y la gozo como en junio del otro año. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Perman. Okay. <laughs> I am so happy because this is uh, last week uh, I finished a report. Uh, by the way, I am writing my report of the visit um, again uh, because um, uh, today, today they told me, yeah, okay, did, okay. Uh, that the result of the test, uh, the, vis the visit uh, uh, customer was okay. That is why I am checking again the report. Checking the report again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Keep working hard, right? Okay, so. Uh, Hazel, 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 sister, Hazel is not available, Hector. Um, I, uh, I am uh, searching new, uh, uh, como, como cliente, customer. Customers? Uh -huh, customer. I am sending information about the project. I am waiting for close um, construction project. I am uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't write. Yeah, I, I, I can't because in the in the march <laughs> Ouch. I, lost, I, lost, I, I lost in my mind the, 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 the another the other idea another thing uh -huh. <laughs> all right I, I heard that you were helping your partners to create a presentation yeah mm -hmm. they, they helped me a lot mm -hmm. for 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 me the, all right sentence that's 
Uh, I am checking the report. I am calling the client. I have new personnel for a different position. We are making a different promotion the, the, the World Cup. We are calling client to make more sales. We are sending a, 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 a message, como se dice? Messages. Messages to all the client base, planning meeting to make the forecast. Sales for the Black Friday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, just by the end of the month. Ya van a empezar yeah. que black, que orange, que no sé qué. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> De todos no. colores. Uh -huh. yeah. ah, ya, yes. vamos a ver. ya vamos a ver business, ok? Uh, We okay. need to. <laughs> Alright, nice. Lucy, Mayra, Samuel. Three more. Hello. Hi. This week I'm checking emails, making some reports. I'm planning to finish um, a big inform about one of my responsibilities. And it's la, are like a hygiene studies from the plant. And I'm hoping I'm finishing this week. Thank you. Nice. Yes, mm -hmm. Amy, this week I working on the company's anniversary activity. I planning the activity of planning games. Games. Um, I am calling uh all the sweet shop to go out of price. Uh, I write the activity step and and the same. I check in progress of the activity. Uh, I send the, the, the process by email to my team. I talking to my college, college so they give me, me, me other ideas. 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 You're going to get some more ideas. All right, so well. Okay, I'm working on promotion related to the workup. I'm working to get sales group in the first uniforms done. Um, I'm planning a golf tournament. I'm branding a new company cars and we are promoting a Teleton for this weekend. True. When is taking place at the end of October? Uh, no. Uh, September 30 and October, October this 1. Coming this coming weekend. weekend. No yep. way. Yeah. I thought it was going to be at the end of the next month. No, 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 no. They could do it because the World Cup is coming soon and the channels, the radio, <laughs> and the, <laughs> All the media. Yeah, it's going to be really busy. Any free. Yeah, don't get it's any free. True. Oh, well. 6.45, I will stay here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, thank you, you so very much. you enjoy with me. Thank you so very much for attending, for sharing, for participating. Mm -hmm. We are having Wendy tonight on the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, the final attendance. Did I take it? Not yet. Oh, let's do that super quick. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Present. Uh, Berman. Hazel. Running. Hector. Present teacher. Irma. Isabel ya se fue. Isabel. Present. He lives early every day. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Samuel. Wendy. I am here. Jacqueline. Okay, so Wendy is there. Present. Thank you. The rest, good night. Wendy, don't go. Hello. Hello. You stay, okay? Hello. You stay. Okay. Okay, good. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, partner. Good night.
Wendy. Hello, teacher. How are you? Yeah, con sueño. Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy. Okay. You have a difficult day today. Was it difficult? Si tuvo el día difícil. Um, ¿Qué es lo más difícil? Ahorita más o menos lo que me cuesta, siento yo, le estaba diciendo a las compañeras que no mucho me socializaba con el ING. Pero sí tiene la idea cuáles son los verbos. Comprar, ir, trabajar, dormir. Esos son los verbos. Uh -huh. Bye. Entonces, ¿se saben los verbos? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice trabajar? Work. Ajá, work. Eso es trabajar en general. Pero si usted dice, yo estoy trabajando, ¿cómo diría? Uh, I work. I am. Porque es estoy. I am I... working. Ahí es donde le ponemos el ING. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? O sea, es que usted... siempre tiene... Usted dice, sí, siempre le va a poner el verbo to be. I am, porque es yo estoy trabajando. Uh -huh. Usted no puede decir solo yo trabajando, sino que tendría que decir yo estoy trabajando. Yo estoy participando, yo estoy creando, yo estoy revisando. Dice, ¿no? Vaya, como los ejemplos que les hemos dado en la clase, ¿verdad? Vaya, por ejemplo, otro verbo, estudiar. ¿Cómo se dice el verbo estudiar? Mm. Estudie. Study. Study, perdón. Ajá, ¿y cómo diría yo estoy estudiando inglés? Mm. Studying. Ajá, pero la oración completa. Ay. Sería I go study. No, I no, am. I go. No, I am. I am. El go no tiene nada que ver ahí. Recuérdese, el verbo no. en ING, pero antes de eso tengo que decir I am. Uh -huh. I Yo estoy am. estudiando inglés. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I o sea am. que siempre que tendría que llevar siempre el I am. En el caso que usted I... esté hablando de usted mismo, obviamente, se está hablando de alguien, uh -huh. va a ser he is, she is, they are, we are. Yeah. Uh -huh. Vaya, Otra vez, dígame la oración completa. I work it. No. Yo estoy estudiando inglés. I student. I am. I am studying English. Exactly. I am studying English. I am study. I am study English. Ajá. ¿Cómo diría yo estoy revisando el correo? I... Ay, creo que me salió. Ay, ay, ah, este, pero me cuse ese correo. Check, este, check. El verbo revisar es check. Y en check, viene checking. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am checking. Sería I am, I am checking email. My email. My email. Ah, porque uh -huh. tiene que decir que, yo, que es el mío. Exacto. No va a revisar el correo al Correcto. Vaya, <ríe> vale, bueno, ¿cómo bueno. diría? <ríe> ¿Cómo diría? Estoy eh, preparando un reporte. I am. Rep I am sería I, I. Puede poner el verbo write. Como escribir. Writing. I am writing a report. I am writing a report. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo diría estoy yendo para el trabajo? I go. Ah, ¿qué falta ahí? Estoy. I am, sería uh -huh. I, I am go. Eh, ¿Qué le falta al go? Al ING. Ajá. I go. No. No. Sería... al ING. Sería. Go. Y si le agrego al ING, ¿cómo suena? Uh, 
I go. I, I going. Ajá, entonces digo, I am. I am, I going to work. Eh, I am, I am going um, to work. I am going to work. Vaya, entonces de eso se trata el ING. Pero sugerencia es que escriba oraciones. Escriba todas las oraciones que se le ocurran. Porque si no, o sea, ahorita es como que, ah, ya capté, pero se le va a olvidar si no hay práctica. Vos escribo oraciones uh -huh. con todos los verbos que usted se sepa. Estoy comiendo, estoy durmiendo, estoy estudiando, me estoy bañando, estoy cocinando. Todos esos. Y siempre van a llevar a ING. Bless you. Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Ya? Thank you. All right. Bueno, Thank eso sería, Wendy. Yes. Take care. See you tomorrow. Ok. Bye. Go to sleep. Go, go. Good night. Good night. Ya me quedo.